This is Josh with ASA Electronics. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to download the updates for the in-command system. So if you're on a MacBook or anything Apple, uh, if you're using Safari, um, before you download the updates, you'll need to go up here to change a couple settings. So you go to Safari, uh, go to settings, and you'll want to uncheck open safe files after downloading because this is going to automatically unzip the zip file that we're downloading and the in-command displays cannot read the file if it's not in a zip folder. So after you get done doing that, you'll go to the in-command website, which is just in-command.net. This is the home page. You'll click on control systems at the top. Once that loads, these are all the different in-command systems. So today we're just gonna do the Global Connect one, uh, which is the NCSP3 uh, and the NCSP35 system. So we'll select that. And we'll scroll down to software updates. And here you can see the USB update instructions and the over the air instructions. Today we're just gonna do the USB update. So we're gonna download the Display Commander OS and the Body Control module. And here you can see it's downloading. Okay, so now that the updates have finished downloading, we can navigate to where those folders are. Here it's in my downloads folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight both files. I'm gonna right click and copy. And then I'm gonna navigate to the flash drive that I'm gonna use, which needs to be a 16 gig or smaller and formatted as a FAT32 system. And we're gonna paste. As soon as that's finished transferring, we can then safely unplug the flash drive and then go back to the in-command display to install the updates. All right guys, so now that we're back at the display, we can plug in our flash drive bottom of the DC and then we're going to navigate to settings scroll down to software and then we're going to update the DC version first tap on DC version and then tap on update confirm it's going to pull the file from the flash drive and it's going to install and then reboot the display. Once it reboots, then we'll go ahead and do the BCM update. Okay, so now the display is coming back up. Um, you will see it say Android is upgrading, that's totally normal. Okay, so the display has booted back up and we're gonna go back and do the BCM update. So we're gonna go back to settings, scroll back down to software, and BCM version. You'll tap update just like we did the DC. Confirm again. So the BCM will take a little bit longer to update than the DC did. Um, but as soon as this is done updating, uh, it will reboot the display again and you'll be able to go about your day.